like to share with you an interesting physical experiment of which I heard lately and it is called the late choice quantum eraser experiment and it was performed in 1999 and yeah I have only recently heard of this experiment but in this video I don't want to really explain the experiment itself um, you can find many great explanations also here on YouTube if you just type in uh, delayed choice quantum eraser experiment explanation and you will find great videos that explain in detail how this experiment actually works and if you haven't heard of it or um, know what it is go to some of those explanation it's here on the side on other videos and um, come back later because I want to talk about the philosophical implications of this experiment which I find really interesting. The first finding of or one of the findings of this experiment is that um, the experiment result is influenced not by the measuring device in and of itself but by consciousness observing the result. So it is not only that you influence or interact somehow with the experiment with the devices but you actually have to observe the results with a human consciousness to change the results and <laughs> this is so fascinating to me and it shows a lot I think about what our world actually is and that only through the interaction between what we see the, as the reality of the physical world and a consciousness that we have what's called reality so it's not I think that what is out there is absolutely and completely physical true but it only is generated through our through us observing it and through us um, actually making it appear and um, uh, come into reality so this is the first interesting point of which I think is uh, uh, this experiment shows and another very interesting finding of this experiment is that the past actually does not exist and has not existed for most people know okay the past is gone it does not exist anymore but also very interestingly this experiment shows that it does not even exist until we think about it or observe it in the present moment so the past is actually defined not by what has been but what is now in the present moment and now can change the past which is for me really unbelievable <laughs> if I think about it because this experiment showed that entangled photons if you observe one of them and you know a certain information about this photon it will change what another photon had to show in the past so you for example know through which of the both slits in this experiment the photon has gone and so its entangled photon has to have gone through the same slit and by knowing this and observing it it changes the event or the outcome on an, at another point in time and this is uh, unbelievable first of all but also shows that uh, even more true to what um, some religions and philosophical uh, explanations tell us that actually only the present moment exists. I think this makes it even more so true. So um, I, I found this was an interesting aspect of the observations. And um, this also actually means that information can travel through time because this entangled photon somehow 
we don't know how, but it has to tell its entangled other photon what it has decided to do in the past, basically. <laughs> so very weird, but um, that means information not only has to travel faster than light, but also be able to travel through time into the past. And yeah, this is another interesting aspect, I think, that uh, if you think about it long enough, um, actually makes a lot of sense in our very, um, uh, w in our inner world where we have um, a lot of freedom, but also are restrained by our past experiences. And if we decide to change something in our life, we are um, a lot of times thinking too much into the past or decide what we do next based on what we did in the past. And I think this is not very helpful. And this experiment actually can help us um, show that the past is not as certain as we think it is. We have a certain picture about the past, but I think this is greatly screwed <laughs> through our own mental ability to record and remember the past correctly. Um, yeah, so not only interesting that this is true on a uh, biological level, that we are not rem rem remembering it correctly, but also that it is not so very certain on a physical level, on a yeah, what we have thought of is really real. And um, yeah, this all came down to m for me to think about matter and reality again differently than what I have have been thinking about it before. I think it is fundamentally different from what we think it is. And as we have no real explanation for the results of this experiment yet, um, yeah, let's just say it's a, a great mystery still. What we are, where we are, what reality is and so forth. So always stay interested, keep learning and see you soon.